In honor of the Annihilation Backpack for Call of Duty Black Ops releasing, we're turning our attention to the competitive multiplayer. Our resident Call of Duty expert, Roger Dodger, has returned. Welcome back to the show, my friend. As always, a pleasure. On this episode, we're going to take a bit of a different approach. Rather than go into detail on a handful of helpful hints, we're going to burn through our personal guide to shooter success, a rapid-fire list of tips we suggest everyone heed. Now, let's be clear. We're not savants at the game, but we do enjoy some success, and it's because of all the suggestions you're about to hear. So strap in. It's going to go fast. Ready, set, lead us off, Ryan. All right, number one, look both ways. What did your mom tell you about crossing the road? Look both ways. Always never travel with tunnel vision. Number two, carry a full magazine. Always reload when a battle is complete. Even when it's over, make sure it's safe, then reload. Your gun is hungry, feed it some bullets. Sam straight. <laughs> and number three, aim down sights. Now we suggest that you keep your gun on your hip until you see an enemy. That goes a little bit against logic, but trust us, you are much faster to the target when raising aim down sights than pulling your gun over manually when the target is in view. Number four, tactical grenades. Drop the gift of sweet sunshine yes, on the enemies. Always toss and flash stun grenades into areas where you suspect enemies are. Every We're advantage you can give yourself is precious. Number five, pulse the trigger, people. Daddy likes a disciplined trigger finger. Pulse that trigger quickly instead of holding it down. It's the calm, collected gunslinger that wins the day. Number six, the man dance. It's tango time. Put on your dancing shoes and slide to and fro when engaged with an enemy and create a moving target. Number seven, cover. Just give them the half, Monty, my friends. Don't show them that full target profile. When there's cover, use it. Number eight, anti-air. Come on, are you really using that pistol on your back? For all that is good in the world, carry a launcher. Do me a favor, shoot down some spy planes and choppers. Your team is going to love you for it. Number nine, cooking grenades. Now, we don't dig on raw grenades here at Insider Moves. If you're carrying frags, cook them good and let them fly. Number ten, aim low. Do it like the mafia and take out those kneecaps. If you aim low, your recoil will carry up through their body. Great for those second chancers, too. Number eleven, think before you act, I beg of thee. If your friends are embracing the way of the lemming and they're charging into a death trap choke point, don't follow suit. Take a moment, choose another pet. Number 12, flanking. They say rogues do it from behind, so should Call of Duty players. Always flank, always. Who's writing this? <laughs> <laughs> Number 13, skulls. Follow the sign of death. When you see skulls, you know that the action is in that direction. Act accordingly. Number 14, beware the minimap. The red dots on your minimap are a lovely sight, but they're also a siren song. Don't trust them. Use them for sure, but with suppressors and ghosts in the mix, they won't tell you the whole truth. Number 15, know if you've lost an engagement. And if you are at a disadvantage, reset and try again. You don't need to be a hero, you don't need to stand and just take the deck. Number 16, don't chase. Sprinting after an enemy single-mindedly is a good way to taste some lead. Number 17, the kill shot. Don't take the shot unless you can confidently make the kill. Otherwise, you're just going to give up your position. Number 18, play the edges. By sticking to the periphery, you limit the number of sight lines that can target your location. Plus, you can see all the juicy targets flooding the middle. <laughs> Number 19, the suppressor. Play it real quiet like. The suppressor eliminates you from showing up on the minimap when you shoot. Huge advantage. Learn to love the iron sights and use the suppressor. And number 20, finally, your kill streaks. Play kill streaks you can get to. If you can't get to the Rolling Thunder, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs consistently, that's totally fine. The spy plane you call in is far more valuable than the Rolling Thunder you don't. Play kill streaks you can confidently get to. Again, your team will thank you for it. Whew, that is a lot of stuff. Now, these are fairly simple tips, but they will add up to making you a more efficient, deadlier killing machine in Call of Duty Black Ops. We hope you find them useful, and thank you, Roger Dodger, for joining us for another Call of Duty show.